We got our results back. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. We got our results back from our COVID test. Little Stacks is negative. Me, I'm negative. But my wife is positive. She's got COVID. Not surprised, really, if you think about it. I mean, she was the one that was hanging around uh, this two-year-old far more than me or Little Stacks. Um, and she must have just got it straight up. I'm not sure exactly when, all right? Because, I mean, she's got this kid pretty much every weekday. My guess is um, she wasn't infectious, if you will, until after she was notified we were notified that the child and mother and and father actually were diagnosed with covid so when we found out we immediately started masking up and and kind of isolating not strictly but we started to be very careful and sanitize stuff that may have been enough to isolate my wife mrs yankee from little stacks and i and maybe we're not just behind her. Maybe we aren't infected. We've been just isolated. I've been sleeping here, right? <laughs> and it's just, it's a little frustrating, right? Because, I don't know, I have a whole bunch of emotions going through me right now. A whole bunch. Let me, let me share a few of them with you. One is I am super thrilled that my son and I don't have COVID, right? Yet, I should say, yet. Um, two, I am really, really frustrated that my wife does and that I'm isolated from her. She is hermetically sealed off in that room of ours with her own bathroom and everything, and she's not coming out, all right? Um, we'll bring everything up to her, put her outside the door, and that's it. So we're isolated, and it's really hard, and it's hard to have my wife sick. Many of you know how I'm feeling right now. I'd rather be sick than her any day and twice on Sunday. I'll tell you, it's it's really hard, especially since she has been throwing up, actually dry heaving, I should say. Nothing's coming up. Um, there was a little bit of blood. I mean, it's just because of the intensity of what she's going through. But for two days, so I called the doctor and they prescribed... Um, on Dan Citron, on Dan Citron, right? It's nausea medication, and check this out: a hundred and forty-five dollars. Man, I don't know if you guys don't have health health insurance out there. I I feel for you. I really do. Nine nine dollars and nineteen cents. That is just wow. Of course, it's uh nineteen day supply. Let's. Let's hope she only needs, you know, two of them or something, but whatever. It immediately helped. I went out, grabbed it um, from the pharmacy and, and brought it back. She took one and she's taking sips now. She says she feels a whole lot better. So maybe we're on the mend when it comes to vomiting. Guys, I never knew that that, that was such a strong uh, symptom. I have been thinking about our protocols and uh, been very happy that we decided to, to go with the masks. By the way, this is, you can call this a mask, but this is an N95 respirator, okay? Or actually, it's a P95, I should say, not an N95. That one's a P95. And, you know, it has the flap and some people say, oh, I shouldn't have the flap, Yankee. And it's like, that's great if you don't have it and you're trying to keep it out of your body, right? It's not necessarily... You know, it's it's tight. It form fits to your 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 face. I had piles of these that I bought as a prepper before COVID even came to being, or this COVID nineteen, I should say, coronavirus has been around for a while, but you know what I mean. So I've had these, um, and you know, most most of the comments have been incredibly supportive. Occasionally, somebody will say, you know, Yankee, what are you doing wearing a mask? That's stupid. Well, let me just say, I think it was very important for us to take a mask and put on a mask, especially earlier on when we didn't know she had it and she would come out of her room, double up. She had two masks on. Everybody was wearing these. Or I was, and, and Little Sax had his on. I'll tell you, it's, 
it may have, may have kept um, the virus from, you know, affecting Little Stacks and I. We'll see. And the other thing is, I was getting comments from people saying, Yankee, why are you in different rooms and quarantining yourself within your house? That's crazy. Well, no, it's not. Especially when you don't know who has it and who doesn't. That's why I wanted all three of us to be tested. And, you know, because if you've got the mixed <laughs> mixed results, which is like in some ways the worst possible uh, in terms of quarantining, you want to know. You want to know who needs to be isolated. So that's important. Um, some people are calling it just a little cold. You know, it's nothing major. And I get that. It could be very mild. I'm praying and hoping that the, the vomiting that she has is the worst of the symptoms. And once that's passed, she can really uh, recover quickly. But we'll see. You know, it hits people differently. It affects them in very different ways. It can be severe, but most of the time, it's just a mild illness. So I'm not I'm not overly concerned, but I'm, I'm grateful that I work from home and can be here and support my wife and help her through this. Not everybody has that blessing. A lot of people, and I know a lot of you watching, can't and don't have that opportunity. You have a blue collar job maybe, or you have a job that requires you to be in an office. That's huge. And my heart goes out to you and I thank you, especially you first responders out there and, and those who are serving in our medical community. Thank you so much for what you do. It's, it's amazing when you go to get tested and you see all the protocols that they have to follow and just how challenging this has been. So thankful for you. And uh, it, it just it drives it home more when you're, you're dealing with it. The other thing I'm, I'm thankful for, obviously, is, you know, that we... We have a great medical system and healthcare where I'm at. It's close by. If anything were to happen, I got hospitals all around me and it's just a, I'm not way out in the, the sticks, right? And, and I'm also in a good part of the country too for medical support. So I'm grateful for that. Grateful to be an American and, and, and be in this wonderful country of ours. I'm also grateful for the incredible support of the communities that I'm a part of. One of them is the community that's listening to me right now. My stacking community means a lot to me. And the words of support, the emails, the comments, the texts, the, all the, you know, uh, just, just the words that you've been sharing have been so encouraging and uplifting. And I really appreciate it. I especially appreciate your prayers. Definitely. That means more than anything. Um, the other thing is that my wife and I in Little Stacks recently uh, went to a, uh, or attended a new church. We decided at this point in our lives, in all the changes that had been going on, uh, to, to try a different church. And we prayerfully considered it. We went to a new one. We found a connectedness uh, right away. And I just got a text from my new pastor saying that they had lined up two weeks worth of meals to be delivered. Wow. What can I say? Right. So anyways, uh, what else? I don't want to draw this out too long, but my, my appreciation for you guys is huge. Thank you so much for watching this, uh, vlog series. Um, leave a comment below if you'd like to get a day five and a day six on this. Or if you're like, Yankee, <laughs> I'm done. I'm not interested. You can stop. Go back to go back to silver and gold. Stop it. <laughs> Let me know, please, in the comments below. And uh, until next time, I hope your day is a-okay. <laughs>